We offer viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the TV Mass prayers, the scripture readings, as well as special seasonal prayers and reflections on the weekday Mass readings. For your free copy, call toll-free 1-855-855-MASS. So that's 1-855-855-6277. Or write to Heart of the Nation, P.O. Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin 53214. To order online, visit heartofthenation.org. Your privacy is important to us, and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to Heart of the Nation channel. Just click below. Please remember to send in your gift to help support the Heart of the Nation Sunday Mass. Thank you and may God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We've just completed the season of Christmas in which Jesus is revealed to the world. And in a sense, in the beginning of ordinary time, we're continuing that because Jesus is revealing himself in an initial way, in a very special way in our gospel, at a wedding feast of all places. So as we begin to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us first acknowledge our sins. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. For Zion's sake, I will not be silent. For Jerusalem's sake, I will not be quiet until her vindication shines forth like the dawn and her victory like a burning torch. Nations shall behold your vindication and all the kings your glory. You shall be called by a new name pronounced by the mouth of the Lord. You shall be a glorious crown in the hand of the Lord, a royal diadem held by your God. No more shall people call you forsaken or your land desolate, but you shall be called my delight and your land espoused. For the Lord delights in you and makes your land his spouse. As a young man marries a virgin, your builder shall marry you. And as a bridegroom rejoices in his bride, so shall your God rejoice in you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. From the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, there are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. To one is given through the Spirit the expression of wisdom to another the expression of knowledge according to the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another gifts of healing by the one Spirit, to another mighty deeds, to another prophecy, to another discernment of spirits, to another varieties of tongues, to another interpretation of tongues. But one and the same Spirit produces all of these, distributing them individually to each person as he wishes. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Lord be with you. And with 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. There was a wedding at Cana in Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the wedding. When the wine ran short, the mother of Jesus said to him, they have no wine. And Jesus said to her, woman, how does your concern affect me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servers, do whatever he tells you. Now there were six stone water jars there for Jewish ceremonial washings, each holding 20 to 30 gallons. Jesus told them, fill the jars with water. So they filled them to the brim. Then he told them, draw some out now and take it to the head waiter. So they took it. And when the head waiter tasted the water that had become wine, without knowing where it came from, although the servers who had drawn the water knew, the head waiter called the bridegroom and said to him, everyone serves good wine first, and then when people have drunk freely an inferior one, but you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this as the beginning of his signs at Cana in Galilee, and so revealed his glory, and his disciples began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. They have no wine. My goodness, are there any sadder words in the, in the English language than that? And especially at a wedding of all, of all places. Terrible situation. But you know, the setting of the wedding is, is a very symbolic setting. Yes, it was, it was where this story took place. But the wedding is a symbol of our life with God, that God has, 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 has um, made us his, his bride. And, um, uh, and that's how we live our whole life. But when the wine runs out, how can the celebration continue? How can life in union with God continue? And that's our human situation. Our inability to create life for ourselves, our inability to be independent of God. So there's a problem. They have no wine. Now, there is some hope in that statement. Because first of all, in order to say they have no wine, somebody has to notice that fact and that situation. And then they say it, and then someone has to hear it. Someone presumably who can do something about it. So that's why the mother of Jesus was there. She represents us. And luckily for us, she has the ear of her son. They have no wine. And, you know, Jesus might be a little hesitant at this stage in his ministry, but he recognizes where he has come from. He recognizes that he is from the Father, the Father who took our situation of desolation and forsaken and changed it to a new one of my delight and espoused. Another reason why this, this story is so beautiful within a wedding. So Jesus is going to do something about that. He takes, he takes what has been part of the life and faith of Judaism all along. He's a transitional figure. He takes what was before and transforms it into something new. And so they, they take the old water jars. Those big water jars were meant to hold water for people to cleanse themselves, to cleanse the outside so they were worthy to come into God's presence. And, they, and, and that was hard work. And they had to do it. 
They didn't do it. They were unclean and could not come into God's presence. Jesus took that vessel, filled it up completely, in a sense fulfilling it, but then something else happened. The contents were transformed from something that cleans the outside to something that brings a whole new life from the inside. And that's what Jesus came to do. When our lives feel like the wine has run out, that's not right. It's not supposed to be that way. We are the bride. We are at our wedding. Jesus has taken us all on. And you can bet that he is not, at his wedding, going to allow the wine to run out. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, from there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We now offer our prayers and needs for ourselves, for our viewers, and for those around the world. For the Church, during this week of prayer for Christian unity, that we may look to Christ to guide us to greater holiness on a common path with our baptized brothers and sisters, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who are preparing for marriage, that they may be a sign of the love that God has for all of us, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer that inspired by the model of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., all the citizens of this nation may work to fight injustice anywhere. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all of us, may we recognize the spiritual gifts of others without jealousy or resentment as we develop our own spiritual gifts for the benefit of those around us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the sick, especially among our viewers and listeners, may they know recovery from illness and relief from pain. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who've gone before us, may they rejoice in the eternal wedding feast of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the needs and prayers of all of our Heart of the Nation parish members, including those joining us from the state of Washington, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you know our need. Fill us with the wine of your love, the wine of gladness, the wine of eternal life. And hear these prayers which we offer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
pray now, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth, he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering, canceled out our sins. And by his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of your Son, the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, all of our bishops, the clergy, and the, your, your entire people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, 
Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. So now let's share with each other a sign of Christ's peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Despise how beautiful. 
Let us pray. Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth to glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. offer viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the TV Mass prayers, the scripture readings, as well as special seasonal prayers and reflections on the weekday Mass readings. For your free copy, call toll-free 1-855-855-MASS. So that's 1-855-855-6277. Or write to Heart of the Nation, P.O. Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin 53214. To order online, visit heartofthenation.org. Your privacy is important to us, and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to Heart of the Nation channel. Just click below. Please remember to send in your gift to help support the Heart of the Nation Sunday Mass. Thank you and may God bless you.